how to elevate your style, classy summer outfits for 2022. I've collated my top tips to help you achieve chic and classy summer outfits for 2022. And hopefully you'll find these tips really helpful and easy to integrate into your own outfit ideas, no matter what your personal style actually is or your budget. When it comes to creating a cohesive and elevated look, high quality basics are a must. While showpieces and statement garments add pots of drama and interest, your outfit will just fall flat if your basics aren't up to par. Here you can see that I'm wearing a pretty basic yet really timeless outfit. But because that vest top has been made from a beautiful ribbed cotton, and because those white jeans have just got the best fit, the whole outfit looks really elevated and put together. You should never underestimate the power of having great staple pieces in your own wardrobe. I always spend more time curating my basics than shopping for hero pieces. Key options I focus on would be blazers, blouses, and tailored trousers. And in winter, of course, a beautiful coat. When you own these pieces in neutral colors, in the most premium quality materials that you can afford, you'll find they will last for years and really make up the building blocks of most of your looks. Do you stop and think about fabric composition before you buy? I think a lot of us have become so aware of not only where our clothes are made, but also what they've been made from. I know that I've become slightly obsessive about checking the fabric labels, but I really want to know what is in my garment. Is it going to irritate my skin? Is it going to really last? And is it going to bobble and look awful within about six months time? Choosing sustainable or premium fabrics instantly elevates your style. A cotton blouse will not only feel different from a synthetic blouse, but it will look different too. You can often tell the difference between the two fibers just from the way that they drape. And then this in turn leaves you looking more polished. I think my favorites at the moment would be organic cotton. I really love Ecovero and Econil for swimwear. But do let me know if you've heard of any new and wonderful fabrics coming out there that are really sustainable. Don't know if you remember, but last year we talked about a new faux leather that was actually made from cactus leaves, which I thought was amazing. So if you've heard of anything new and up and coming in terms of sustainable fabrics, do let me know about that too. Now, not only is this blouse so very pretty for summer, but it's also been made from embroidered organic cotton. I went true to size with the UK 10, and I would say that the fit is perfect. I really try and focus on investing in those pieces that will stand the test of time. And this then leaves me with a really timeless wardrobe that looks elevated all year round, no matter what the current trends might be. Now, while I'm thinking about beautiful yet yeah, affordable compositions, I have a couple of lovely new pieces in from Lulu's that I really wanted to share with you all. This portion of the video has very kindly been sponsored. And as always, all selections and opinions are my own. So I knew I really wanted to be considerate about the compositions that I add in to my own wardrobe. So I actually searched Lulu's website via the fabric content that I was after. And thinking of summer, linen was where I headed first, which is where I found this beautiful set. Now I needed a new skirt for summer and to have something as a matching set feels really on trend, yet very elevating at the same time. On top of a really lovely blend of fabric, this set only retails at $89, so about £70, which I thought was very, very reasonable. So I've paired my new camel sandals with this look, made from leather with that very simple, elegant design. I think they polish off this outfit perfectly. Then I chose a sprinkle of color for my wardrobe. Bit of a shock, I know. But I saw this bright blue shade, the feminine cut of this dress, and the fact that it's been made from a blend of linen, and I just had to add it to basket. I must admit, I do feel really nice in this dress. I love how it fits across the chest, and although it is more fitted, it's still got a bit of wiggle room across the hips. It's a lovely dress for my summer holidays. And last but not least, I headed for my favorite embroidery with this very pretty summer top. A unique piece made from 100% cotton, that really adds a touch of my personality into my outfit idea. On my feet this time are another new pair of shoes that I chose. They get a tick for the pointed toe, double tick for being mules, and a triple tick for that soft neutral tone. 
So all round, I've had a wonderful first experience shopping at Lulu's, and I would highly advise that you have a browse of their collection for yourself. I've added a link in the description box below for you to take a look at the end of this video. Now this might be the most important tip on the list, to me anyway. You could be wearing the most perfectly curated summer outfit, but the look will just miss the mark if it doesn't fit you well. Now I know it's hard to find clothes tailored to your own body, especially as most of the high street stores seem to be using different measurements for their sizing. But it's so important to wear clothes that really complement and flatter your own shape. So as you can see in this first look, for example, the dress fits like a glove. It really skims over my widest area, which is my hips, but balancing out that shape is the shirt, simply a classic boyfriend shirt that's just a little bit oversized and feels really relaxed. Now I've tied it in a knot at my waist just to give me a little bit more definition and that kind of overall hourglass shape. And then that wider shape of the shirt shoulders gives me more width and balances me out overall. I certainly don't have a perfect body and like most women, I have my own insecurities as well. But I've learned over the years to not get too stressed about it. These days, I just focus on my best parts. I dress for my shape and what makes me feel really nice. And I subtly divert attention away from the areas I don't really want people to focus on. Though I always champion minimalist basics, there's a time and a place for unique pieces in your wardrobe. Looking elevated works well in neutral palettes and tailored shapes, but that's not to say that a pop of color can't be sophisticated too. Now granted, my pop of color here is certainly on the minimal side of things, but there's no denying what a unique and I think really beautiful shirt that this is. This is actually a couple of years old now, but as I'm sure you've found yourself, when you find those truly unique pieces made from really beautiful compositions, you can imagine having them in your wardrobe forever. I think the key to nailing a look with a statement piece is to try and opt for the less is more mentality. I find that having those small but perfectly formed details is a really easy way to elevate your style. This is also something we saw at Bottega Veneta's Spring 2022 show. This look seems subtle from a glance thanks to that all white color. However, when you're closer up, you can really see the intricate weave details and those cutouts that take the dress from a standard summer option to something far more sophisticated and elevated. I always believe that quality is more important than quantity when it comes to creating the perfect capsule wardrobe. You've probably already noticed throughout this video, but shopping for quality items will always trump buying an awful lot of lower quality picks, and it will really pay off in your outfit ideas too. If you're switching to a sophisticated summer wardrobe, or perhaps you want to make your outfits look more expensive. Fabric and material quality are essential. Let's face it, it's far cheaper to buy a whole new wardrobe from fast fashion retailers, but how long will this collection last you? And will these pieces really elevate your style? Here, for example, I'm simply wearing a cotton poplin shirt and I've paired it with a lovely accru midi skirt. Now this is actually a look that I shared recently on Instagram. And it's one of my favorites in summer for when I'm wanting to feel a bit more classy and chic. I really shopped around for the highest quality cotton shirt within my own budget. Something I knew would be made to last and when styled against silk, it makes both pieces stand out for the right reasons. I spend more time thinking about each piece I want to add into my wardrobe. And then I research all these different brands before I decide which piece I'm going to go for. Being an outfit repeater is cool, and I definitely stand by this. Why would you purchase clothes and only wear them once or twice? It seems like the most ridiculous thing to me. I actually can't believe that anyone really does this, except for your wedding dress, though I have been known to swish around the house in mine from time to time. I think it would be quite a hard look to pull off going for dinner. Each purchase for me is a love affair. Try not to let trend cycles fool you. Repeating looks is very sophisticated, especially when the outfits have been pieced together by hand. Now, when investing in your basics, make sure you really, really love them before committing to the purchase. If you don't feel amazing in it, it's definitely not worth your pennies. But when you do find something that ticks all of your boxes and really flatters your shape, why would you not wear that on repeat? How many pairs of shoes do you own? 
be honest with that one. There was a time in my 20s when I bought more shoes than anything else. It became a bit of a thing. Thankfully, my shopping habits have stabilized somewhat over the last few years, but then I do still have that inner voice trying to convince me that it's not outrageous in the slightest to spend 500 pounds on a pair of shoes. Thankfully, I don't act on that voice too often, otherwise I would have no money left. I do, however, believe that shoes are essential to creating a really cohesive outfit. It's great when your bag, your clothes, your hair and makeup match as one seamless aesthetic. But if you forget to add in the right shoes with that outfit, all the effort could be ruined. It's like having a reliable selection of basics. You should also have a really reliable collection of shoes to go with those outfit ideas. Here you'll have seen I have a new pair of beauties that I've just added into my collection. They're camel, of course, because I can never resist. Strappy for summer, but I think they would work all year as well, particularly for the evening. And I love the block heel, which feels more on trend for this season. And of course, very typically French, which is never a bad idea. So I've styled them here with a new pair of straight leg jeans. I've added a turn up to give it more of a cute kind of girly vibe, but still feeling chic and put together with that pretty blouse on my top half. Shoes don't have to be simple though. One of my favorite shoe brands ever would have to be Aquazura. Their heels are like a work of art. I absolutely love it. Incredibly out of my budget, I might add, but I do like to have a little window shop at their collection. Just look at those little bobby dazzlers. I am not usually one for bling, but I think I would make an exception for those. Maybe like have a really simple, very elegant and tonal outfit, and then just that pop of color on your shoes. Beautiful. Do let me know what you think in the comment section below, and I'd be really interested to hear as well, what's your limit of what you would spend on a lovely pair of heels? When in doubt, stick to a tonal color palette. But what does a tonal color palette actually include? A one column of color outfit does exactly what it says on the tin. And it mixes different shades and tones and textures for a soft monochrome look. And we've recently seen this at various fashion houses for spring summer 2022. And I think it's a surefire way to really elevate your style. But you don't always have to think of tonal outfits as something for the evening or something really dressed up and complicated. This theory works even with the most casual of outfits. Take this look, for example. Could I look any more cozy? But because they're both made from a really beautiful, soft and cozy cotton, they look more expensive than they actually were. And because I'm in that one column of color, it gives the illusion of being hugely put together. Another trick I like with super casual looks like this is to just throw a blazer over the top. In this case, when we're thinking of tonal looks, I've opted for navy blue. Suddenly, I've made what is essentially a tracksuit look more elevated. And I must admit, this is definitely one of my go-to school run, in a rush, running out the door looks. It's elevated and put together without trying very hard at all. I really think tonal color palettes add fluidity throughout the look. Instead of those stark contrasts and clashing colors, similar hues create a much softer feel, especially in browns and blues, beiges, off-whites, etc. Creating tonal outfits is easier than ever, when you have a range of beautiful basics in those neutral tones. And you can slowly build up that collection of those similar tones over time as budget allows that will eventually help you achieve this really elevated style. Another vital area to invest is denim. Shopping for jeans often gets a bit of a bad rap as lots of people don't actually like it, but you're good to go once you've found a perfect pair that really complements your figure. And there's definitely enough out there to choose from. Good denim will last for years. And I always spend more time than I would like to admit researching different jeans brands that are new to the market. My collection is often growing and rarely cold, but in my defense, I do wear them on repeat, so I'm gonna forgive myself for that one. Elevated style really starts with elevated choices. I really believe that. Looking elevated isn't just about clothing. I always try and make sure that my beauty and makeup choices mimic the aesthetic that I'm going for with my outfit. Summer is a time to glow, so really try and opt for natural hair and makeup. I know it's become a bit of a trend to have these quite heavy matte bases of foundation, but I must admit I'm not really a fan. I don't have perfect skin in the slightest, 
I have pigmentation that just won't budge. I've got wrinkles and of course I get the odd spot, but I do like to see my natural skin peeking through my makeup. A heavy coat of anything on my skin just makes me feel like I'm not me anymore. And when you think about how to elevate your own style, this is one area that I think can make a huge difference. Just embrace the imperfections and go with that natural summer glow. Another critical area to focus on when elevating your style for summer is your handbag. These days, bags come in all shapes, sizes, and textures. So it's easy to be tempted by the latest trend. Now I do love trend pieces, don't get me wrong, but it is essential to own at least one neutral bag alongside these loud patterns and colors. Now I personally focus on minimalist designs and neutral palettes when I'm handbag shopping. This ensures that the bag will match a range of different outfits that I already have in my wardrobe, allowing me to just get up and go without worrying about matching my accessories to my look. Beiges, whites, creams, subtle greys, are really great colors to explore. Black, of course, is a great option if you want something that's going to match pretty much all of your different outfits. But I personally always prefer those softer tones, particularly for the summer months. Of course, these tips are a general rule of thumb and some rules are just made to be broken. If there's one tip you should remember, however, it's to always focus on fit and fabrics in summer, but ultimately really try and listen to that inner voice. You know when you feel nice in something, so try and embrace that all important ingredients for achieving that elusive elevated style. I really hope you've enjoyed my styling tips on how you can elevate your style. As always, I would love to hear from you all in the comment section below. Or maybe you've come up with your own formula for the perfect classy summer outfit that you'd like to share with the other subscribers. It's always really lovely hearing from you all, so do get in touch. I often see subscribers chatting and sharing tips amongst themselves, and it's really wonderful to see what a lovely community we've created on this channel. If you like this video and you're not already, I would love you to subscribe to my channel and I'm always grateful for a thumbs up too. I post videos once a week on a Sunday but I'm always here and up for a chit chat or perhaps if you need some styling tips please do ask away. Have a wonderful week everyone and I shall see you on Sunday. Take care.